Recipes member Bettina tells us that this recipe for tiramisu layer cake results in fancy taste without all the work. This cake is wonderful for a get-together or just a special occasion at home. Using a box cake mix as a base is a real time saver. Any tiramisu recipe is usually labor intensive. This recipe is great because it's easy, but gives the same great results as if you'd spent hours on it. Let's start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Now, grease and flour three nine inch cake pans. Prepare one 18 and a quarter ounce package of moist white cake mix according to the directions on the box. Divide two thirds of the batter evenly between two of the pans. Then stir one teaspoon of instant coffee into the remaining one third of the batter and pour that batter into the third cake pan. Bake the layers in your preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center of the cakes comes out clean. Let the layers cool in their pans for about 10 minutes, then turn them out onto a cooling rack and cool them completely. Next, in a measuring cup, Combine a quarter cup of brewed coffee with one tablespoon of coffee-flavored liqueur and set that aside as we make the filling. In a bowl, combine eight ounces of mascarpone cheese with a half cup of confectioner's sugar and two tablespoons of coffee-flavored liqueur. Using an electric mixer on low speed, Beat this mixture until it's just smooth. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and refrigerate it. As the next step, we'll make the frosting. In a medium bowl, combine two cups of heavy cream with a quarter cup of confectioner's sugar. and two tablespoons of coffee-flavored liqueur. Beat this mixture until it's stiff. Then, carefully fold a quarter of a cup of the frosting mixture into the filling mixture. Now we're ready to assemble the cake. Place one plain cake layer on a cake serving plate. Using a skewer, poke holes in the cake about an inch apart. Now brush one third of the reserved coffee mixture over the cake. And then spread the cake with half the filling mixture. Top this with the coffee-flavored cake layer. Once again, poke holes in the cake with the skewer and brush a third of the reserved coffee mixture over the cake. Now, spread the rest of the filling mixture over this layer and top with the second plain cake layer. Spread the frosting mixture on the top and sides of the cake. Put two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder in a fine sieve and dust the top of the cake with it. Then, using a vegetable peeler, 
make chocolate curls by running the peeler down the edge of a one ounce square of semi-sweet chocolate. Refrigerate the cake for at least 30 minutes before serving, longer if possible, so that the filling and frosting are firm and the cake absorbs the coffee flavors. A superb treat made a little easier by using packaged cake mix for the base. Your family and friends will enjoy this dessert so much.